Riders are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. And here we go. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. Time for our tale of the tape. It's Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And he'll be facing Daniel Jacobs, the Miracle Man. Six foot tall, 160 pounds with a reach of 74 inches. This is it. This is that fight. This is that argument. I don't know what to expect. So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. This map, we've waited a long time for this fight. It's here and the fighters are good to go. So much hype surrounding this fight and now it is go time. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. We better start respecting each other's punching power. like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. I'm sure everyone remembers Alvarez versus Jacobs part one. It was a bruising encounter. Let's see what they have in store for us this time. Alvarez won three titles in the process in their last fight, but now he's back for blood. He's back for revenge. He needs to stamp his authority because some thought, some thought, Daniel Jacobs beat Canelo. Can you believe that? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Left counter punch for score. Nice exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. I... Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Counter punch. Insane action. The audience absolutely right on top of you in this very special environment here. You walk in, you cannot hide or dump or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single trick. If you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Caution is being thrown to the wind. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. Round three, who's gonna land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This counter puncher is gonna wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. 
Go find to the counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches, they're watching you, watching you every move. That every this fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Nice exchanges for both men in this round. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. There's a scoring blow. So I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Time at the things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Beautiful counter punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. When you've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class, it sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the brown weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got base. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights who are at middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history book. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And this is that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. one-way traffic how do they turn this around Good right hand this is a high octane battle this 
fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Charles, you know what? Sometimes when they go in the ring with fighters like that, and you punch them, you just kind of run. You want a spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. He just misses with that jab. Can't connect with that right hook. So that left lands. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. Well, we're entering desperation mode. Comes round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. It was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. At this point, you've got to believe he can't win on the scorecard. And there's the bell for round eight. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a the fight. They've got to relax. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. No rest for the weary. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Still a very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alvarez. And there's the bell to start round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. 
Solid punch. Nice exchanges. Ooh, and dang it. And there it is. The knockdown punch we knew was coming. Sure, with the knockdown. I love the response, though. Go back. We've made it to round 10. We couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know, in the corner now, they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know the ones shake your leg. They're a, a nuts here away from getting stopped. See how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He blocks the hook. Why aren't they defending? Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Job landing. Let's talk about Alvarez. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty out. That's start 11. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the problem is coming from. No power in those punches. They figure out the combination to this safe. Threw the hook, didn't land. Left counter score. This is not where Daniel Jacobs wants to be right now. And right back into the fray. These two were made for each other. Close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they... Re There's the bell for round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow?
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? Hey, those punches add up. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. And he misses with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Some might have thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. I totally agree.